Now, in your chapter, this is how the end begins, which mm. sounds um, <laughs> worrying. <laughs> but you, you yeah. started off looking at um, the Omar al-Bashir incident. Yeah. I, I don't even think that's the correct word, yeah. but uh, in South Africa. Um, keeping in mind the, the president and the ruling party's call for an, a, a re-look at uh, the country's involvement in the International Criminal Court, mm. calling the International Criminal Court an African. Mm. What is your thinking around that? You know, there are two issues there. The first one is, does the International Criminal Court need reform? By all means, if you look at the number of people who have been persecuted by the ICC, the majority are black. But you also have to say, who runs the ICC? Many, many of those persecutors are black Africans. Um, now, as an institution, it hasn't been fantastic. It hasn't been, you know, the most, you, there are so many issues that you can take upon. But we, as a country, signed up to the Rome Statute. We said we will do these things to make sure that there are no longer any wars, uh, no more famine, no more poverty in Africa because of dictators. So if a dictator, if someone who perpetrates, uh, uh, um, violates human rights comes to this country, we will arrest them. We chose, our parliament here in Cape Town said, we are going to do this. We signed and we said, yes, we are ready and willing. When it comes to time to implement, we don't want to implement. But even worse, we have courts, we have a judiciary in South Africa, and we say, above all else, these three pillars of government, the executive, the judiciary, the, um, um, the executive, the judiciary, and the, uh, uh, the other wing, We'll, we will all um, adhere to the Constitution. The Constitution says, if a judge of the higher court issues a court order, you obey it. The President of South Africa, the government of South Africa, on January 15, did not obey it. Omar al, Omar al Bashir was allowed to get on a plane at Waterkloof Air Force Base and fly out of South Africa at 11.46 a.m. And in court, South African government officials laughed as they told the judge that, oh, sorry, he's left. What does it say about the day when I get a court order saying, please don't, um, please leave me alone, don't, don't listen to my device or don't do this and so forth. Can the state ignore that court order as well? What happens when we begin to ignore court orders? You're basically saying the word of the judiciary is no longer respected. This is why the Chief Justice Mohoeng Mohoeng went and met President Zuma. And I was concerned that when they came out, they said court orders should be obeyed instead of must be obeyed. There is no question about it. You obey, and then you can go and protest later, but you obey the court orders. And for me, if we don't fix that, we mustn't have that happening again in this country. If it happens, then we are in trouble, because, well, it's a free for all.